Ireland. So who is most exciting for you, Joe Syracuse? Well, look, I've been doing a lot of homework, Pete, and uh, I can see now that Nick the Greek in Vegas has got uh, <laughs> uh, has got Governor DeSantis at three to one to win the uh, uh, the primaries, uh, the Republican primaries, and he's going to be two to one favorite to, um, uh, to to win the general election. He's 44 years old. He's uh, got three kids. He's got a, a military career, six years in the House. You know, and he's he's not like uh, Clinton and George W. Bush and and Biden and Trump. You know, they were all they were all draft dodgers. This guy actually <laughs> volunteered for military service when he could have avoided it. So he understands that. And also, uh, Pete, um, he's he's very popular in the state of Florida. Australians have to think about if you had the most popular premier ever in Queensland, then you got the Florida story. That's, Pretty yeah. much the same kinds yeah. of politics, and and also you know this guy is he's gonna he's gonna reorient American foreign policy. The blob or the foreign policy establishment hate them, hate this guy because uh, he can't stand America getting into wars that cannot win these these particular <laughs> wars of um, uh, wars of terrorism and, and the like. And he doesn't see uh, Ukraine as uh, crucial to going to war with Russia. Yeah. He is tough on China and all the rest of it. The, so, you know, he's going to make a very interesting film. Well, the big problem for him is going to be Donald Trump, though. So how does he beat Donald Trump and also keep Donald Trump supporters? Well, you know, most of the shows have very conservative people saying he's, he's got to de defeat him by uh, going to his right on certain issues. That is, he has to out-Trump Trump. Trump. Um, but like Disney. Hand, Trump, well, I mean, yeah, like Disney. Now, Trump, of course is criticizing uh, DeSantis for picking this fight with Disney. I mean, you know, uh, why, why you'd want to pick a fight with Donald Duck and Mickey Mouse beats the hell out of me. <laughs> it's, it's, well, it's I mean, a it's, a, it's bigger than that. It's a woke thing, isn't it? Yeah, it is a woke thing. Look, I, I think uh, DeSantis is, is doing a lot of important things. You know, he's, he's, he's pretty much about common sense. And, and you know, Pete, he, he doesn't have to insult people night and day. He doesn't yeah. have to explain away his age. You know, he represents a new generation. He's a young guy. And you know, Pete, I found out the other day that when he wants to celebrate something, he has a pint of Guinness. When's the last time we had a president who had a glass of beer for a, for a celebration? I, I mean, seem I to recall on that, I remember Barack Obama had a pint of Guinness years ago when he toured Ireland, which is the thing to well, do in Ireland. Well, that's the last time. That's the last time. <laughs> No, well, it's interesting. It's good that we talk about, you know, not to be ageist or anything like that, but I just think it's all, you know, Biden and Trump going at each other again. Uh, you know what I mean? Yeah, I mean, you know, how many people can you insult before you yeah. run out of people in the room? That's right. It's nice to see and, a fresh you know, face. Guy, and, you know, he's 44, he's that new generation, and, you know, the time comes when you got to pass the baton. Uh, whether you're yeah. alive or dead, you've got to get rid of it. <laughs> yeah, okay. I just realised I'm potentially if he becomes president, I'm getting my age is quite close to the American president. It's just something I've just realised. Hey, Joe, good to see you. Talk to you <laughs> okay, soon. Okay, thank you. Yeah. <laughs>